All right, so what's going on guys and welcome back everybody to a brand new video in this one We're going to be discussing about the DLC future and the upcoming seasons of Star Wars Battlefront 2 When they're going to happen what we can expect and everything like that now Star Wars Battlefront 2 has been pretty silent You know for the past maybe month month and a half or so we haven't had any DLC or Really any new additional content in a long while or something that we expected to be you know pretty noteworthy but that should be changing very soon, and we're supposed to have a clear picture about where this game is going to be heading within the next year, um, so that is good news. Now, that being said, if you guys end up enjoying the video, uh, if, if any of this you find interesting or helpful, be sure you drop a like, that would be awesome. Subscribe to this channel if you have not done already for more Battlefront 2 updates, live streams, any kind of videos, things like that. I would appreciate it a lot, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Actually, one more thing I almost forgot to mention before we start, sorry about this, uh, I need to start doing this at the beginning of every video, I'm getting into the habit of it now, but if you guys want to go join my Discord server, I have now just put one up go and join this there will be a link down in the description you all should go over there you can talk to me some other people from the community other youtubers it's an overall good time so go check the link in the description guys go join my discord and now we can go and get started so as I'm sure you all are well aware that EA and DICE have been very quiet and, and just overall not talkative about what they're doing with this game, what we can expect going forward, but right now, the only thing that we really have to go off of is what our big PR guy for uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, his name is Dennis on Twitter, if you guys don't follow him, I'm sure most of the community doesn't because his Twitter's pretty small and compared to, comparatively speaking to how many people actually play this game, and that's why I, need, I feel like I need to sort of make these videos is because not everybody's in the loop about what's really going on with this game. And the way that this game presents information to the overall player base, I don't think is very good. So there's a lot of information floating around that it's either hard to reach or hard to understand. And some of it's not all true. So what I want to really just do is condense everything that you guys need to know uh, and the biggest things going forward. Now you might recall I made a video uh, I'd say around two weeks ago and I was talking about that and that we're supposed to get a new revamped progression system within Star Wars Battlefront 2. It's going to change the way that we rank up, obtain star cards, upgrade heroes and troopers and reinforcements, all that kind of stuff. Um, but we're supposed to hear about that more in detail in early March. And at the time of making this video, it is March 2nd. We haven't heard anything yet. And I, I don't really know how long they're going to drag this out without dropping anything. But all I'm saying is they're they're on the clock here. They're, they ha We have their word that it should be coming out soon with more info. Now, as far as DLC, the seasons, and like new heroes go, this is where things get a little murky because we don't really have anything to base this off of. All we know is that we've been told that in every single season, don't expect to have a hero every time or some could have multiple heroes. Don't think of a season as like one big DLC pack with a standard this, this, and that, like, you know what I mean? With a very uh, uniform kind of content drop. It's going to be random and selective every single time. And I feel like I know where they're going with this. What I believe is going to happen is we're going to have a new season around the time of this new revamp progression system, whenever that comes out. And whether this is going to be Clone Wars or whatever have you, I hope it's Clone Wars. If it's that, that would be awesome. Maybe we'll get some new heroes with that as well. And that will tide us over until the next season, I think, is going to be May when they're pushing the stuff for the Han Solo movie and going to be promoting that. I don't know how they're really going to implement seasons with the Han Solo movie. And if that's the case, then that can be the season that I believe that they're not going to add a new hero in. So if they tide us over with maybe one or two, within this month and then wait until May for a new season and then so on and so forth I could see them doing a, a similar pattern like that and to further back up this theory, from what we know, we're going to be getting a quote-unquote roadmap of the DLC season and just kind of where things are going to go. We should have like a plan laid out and we know what we can expect in the months going forward. But what frust what really frustrates me is that we we could have had this so long ago or we should have had this a while ago as well. I think the biggest confusion for a lot of players is that they don't know when things are going to come out or when things are dropping, and this is due to the fact of their, you know, sort of poor communication skills with the community, YouTubers are pretty much the guys who have to do that, and then also just, I don't really know what they're going on with behind the scenes. I know they're working on the big revamped progression system right now, and I'm sure that's taking a lot of time, but again, like, I would just like some word as to, as to what we can expect. The way the first Star Wars Battlefront did it is that we had like a standardized content drop every single time. And I believe in Star Wars Battlefront 2, that's not what they're going for. And when that's the case, if we don't know any, if we don't have any sort of roadmap or what to expect, then it's kind of just like random content that nobody really cares about or is interested in. You know what I mean? That's kind of a big issue for them. So I'm hoping that this roadmap comes out around the same time as the new progression system. If we get a new season, maybe at the end of this month or early next month, that would be awesome. Hopefully it's Clone Wars, fingers crossed. But at the time of me recording, 
forward in this video, this is all we know. Hopefully this roadmap explains anything and everything that we have questions about this. And uh, I would say going forward, we're probably going to get a some kind of DLC at the end of this month. Hopefully maybe a new map, a new hero. Um, and then there's going to be another season when, around when the Han Solo movie comes out. Because you best believe this game is going to be promoting that as well. I'm not even going to lie, it has been a very big drought period for Star Wars Battlefront 2 right now, and we need content ASAP or else people are going to start forgetting about this game, and when content actually does come out, nobody's going to be around to care about it, and that's my biggest concern. So, we should see some kind of resolution to this by either beginning of this month, and maybe in about a week or two, or the end of this month for sure, because we have to hear something, otherwise they completely lied. But we'll, we will find out, and I'll keep you guys updated for sure. But let me know in the comment section, what do you want to see as the upcoming season? Do you want clone? wars do you want something else let me know in the comments because we should be getting this fairly soon i would hope so anyways and uh, when we actually do end up getting this or there's any announcements i'm going to keep you guys updated on this channel so if you haven't already subscribed make sure you do that as well drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to join my discord server before you leave guys the link to that will be down below in the description but other than that thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you all on the next live stream or the next video peace out